So welcome back guys, we are on video number 11 of the series and this is the Bolt EV, Chevy Bolt TV that we're looking at at the moment. Uh, affordability again, you know, is the race here. It has 259 miles of range, which is about, just checking, 416 kilometers, okay. So, uh, I mean, it's the Bolt EV, starts at $26,500 and ends at $29,700. So $26,500. Which is 22 lakhs, pretty reasonable. And $29,700. 24 lakhs. Wow, this is even cheaper than the EUV. This is America's most affordable EV. Yes. So it's pretty much the EUV, it's just with a little less range, I mean, a little more range, yeah, for a cheaper price. Hmm. So let's just go and compare the trends at the moment. Uh, this is about sections compared. So you have, I think, how many, I think two trims you have. Um, there is not much difference in these vehicles, if you look at it. Uh, I mean, it's the same Chevy lineup. Um, yeah, there's not much difference, and let's just see, this is the moment show. So these Chevy videos are just becoming shorter and shorter, you know, day by day. So yeah, um, it's currently like, okay, so there are two trims. It's not what we thought it would be. <laughs> So it is, uh, there are two trims, 1LD and 2LD, both are forward drive, forward wheel drive. Uh, one is 27495, so we're just going to look that up. 495, 22,000 rupees, 22,000, pretty good, and is 30,695. So yeah, 22 to 25 lakhs, pretty good, uh, in the EV, you won't get, I perforated the leather but in the 220 you get it so you have a, you, in the 1LT when it's jet black clock feature in the 2LT you don't uh, yeah you get basically safety features you don't have a rear vision camera in the 2LT that's surprising that is pretty surprising uh, that you don't have that and you have an HD rear vision camera on your, I mean, okay, it has to be a rear camera, it's just not HD, but this one, the one empty cheap version, you do get an HD rear vision camera. Uh, both are pretty much the same, warranty, everything is pretty much the same. We're looking at dimensions. This has a more base curve weight of, by about maybe 30 pounds. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just go show more. Okay, there are more. Let's go to show more. I want to see like everything. Both have 10 airbags, which is pretty good. Heated steering wheel, both have driver confidence package, which is not available in the more expensive one, which is pretty surprising because rear park assist, rear cross traffic alert, lane change alert, blind zone. How is this not available in the, um, you know, 30,001? I don't know. But in the 27,001, you'll have both speakers, wireless device charging, two USB ports for your passengers. But in 30,001, you do have it. Heated everything. Uh, you don't have the jet black thing. Wireless charging, wireless device charging, you do not have it. Front passenger seat map pocket. Uh, yeah, you have that in there. How is it possible comfort in the means package is not in the 30,000 the L, the LT2, 220. Yep, uh, how is it not available in the 220, like, how, just how, like, just how, I, I really don't answer. So you have heated seat for driving passenger seats, automatic heat, the heat, the leather, app steering wheel, auto doing inside your mirror, may require additional optional require equipment. How is it not available in the 220? That's the more high version. You have inside rear view manual day 
night, which you don't have. I just delivered the really Friday night as well. You don't have that. So in the 2 the 2 you do have your infotainment, which is the most famous speakers. Uh, that inject here into sound reproduction, include some woofer, it's pretty good. Uh, then you have, you don't have, okay, yeah, you do have the HD surround vision. So you don't have a rear view camera HD, but you do have the 360 degree HD, which is pretty good. Um, what else is on here? Ambient instrument panel lighting, that's basically like in series that you don't have. Unless you have the standard HD rear vision, obviously. Then what panic alarm and everything. False cargo floor. You don't have a rear center armrest in the 1NT, which is obviously the more models, obviously, you can expect that. Uh, adaptive cruise control. So, one downside to uh, having the 1NT is that if you're going on long road trips and you would want, if when you're on the free or the highway, you would want adaptive cruise control. And if you're, if you pay 3000 extra, you will.